For now, I'll just sit and look at this fourth generation touch, wondering where it all went wrong. It's called the iPod Touch. Sad. So yeah, Apple discontinued the iPod Touch a week ago. Meaning that all iPod models are together at last, in Apple's garbage can. I personally am a bit sad at the end of the iPod. But I know that there are people out there, like me, that will keep these boys going for generations to come. So that makes it hurt less. You could tell with the iPod Touch models that Apple wasn't even trying. For now, I'll just sit and look at this fourth generation touch, wondering where it all went wrong. Don't even get me started on the second generation iPod touch. To be quite honest, this is a pretty boring iPod. I'm sorry, iPods. And we are introducing a product today that takes us exactly there. And that product is called iPod. There it is, it's right there. The iPod touch. But, enough with the sob fest. We're not focusing on the good iPods today. Today we're talking about the worst iPod in existence. The iPod Nano second generation. Or, you know, what's left of one. We also have a crappy pink one. So yeah, today we're gonna be talking about why these iPods are the worst ever. First off, these boys are so thin and small. This makes them a pain to take apart. Because you have to slide the motherboard and everything else out of the top or bottom. Another problem with these is the battery placement. They put the battery behind the screen, and so if it gets old and expands it has nowhere to go. It pushes at the weak screen, leaving the feared black spot in the middle of the screen, which is how you can tell they've gone bad. If the battery expands it also makes taking these apart even more impossible, since you have to slide everything out, the battery keeps everything from coming out, making repair impossible. The final problem with these is that basically everything is soldered onto the motherboard. This means that if you break a cord while taking it apart, it could lead to some risky soldering. I also personally think that these boys look very strange, being so tall, skinny and thin. And since I hate them so much, I have a special treat for you guys. And it involves this hammer. And this trashy boy. <laughs> 